Hey guys, welcome to Gimtastic Map Does the Witchery Mod. And today we are looking at Protection Poppets. Welcome back guys. So let's have a look at the poppets themselves. Right, to make the basic poppets you're going to need wool from these lovely little sheeps. And you're going to need Spanish moss. You're also going to need a few bone needles and a few pieces of string. So let's go and have a look how you make the basic the basic um poppet. The, uh, currently the B team is not um uh, updated to the newest version, so there's two different recipes. The B team version is uh four wool, one in each corner, two pieces of Spanish moss and one piece of string and one bone needle and that will give you your basic bog standard poppet. It doesn't do anything, it's just there. The updated version is exactly the same but is an extra piece of wool and one less piece of Spanish moss. So there you go guys, whichever version you're running you can change to do whichever one you like. Right guys, as it, on, as it stands the poppet does nothing. It's, so you need to you make, turn it into a protection poppet basically. There are nine. Only eight work on B team, so we'll have a look at all of them. The Earth Protection Poppet is made with your standard basic poppet, two feathers, dirt, and a piece of clay. Now the Earth Protection Poppet, when held in your hotbar, it will take say you were on top of something and you fell and it was gonna kill you, um, you would lose no health, but the poppet would take the damage and be destroyed in the process. Right, the water poppet is two art water art chokes, two ink sacks, and the basic poppet again. Now this guy is again it's the same. Say you're underwater and you're drowning and you're trying to get to the surface, um, you will not take the damage um, when your health when your air runs out. The poppet will take the damage until hopefully and give you enough time to get to the surface. Right, fire protection guys. Again, very similar to the other two guys. Oop. You made it. I moved the recipe too quick, but it was a basic poppet, two wool of bat, and two ember moss. Same thing, guys, with fire. If you get hurt in fire and you're going to die, you won't die. Life will be taken off the poppet, but the poppet's got to be in your hand, and then the poppet is destroyed. Next one, guys, is the hunger protection poppet. It's made with two rotten flesh, a basic poppet, and two glistening melons. So that that one, guys. Again, when you you your hunger reaches zero, when you start to take life, your life will not actually um, start disappear. It will take it out on the poppet first, giving you extra time. Right. The next one is the voodoo protection poppet. Now this one protects you from other players that are using the witchery mod that may have a voodoo doll and using it against you. So this guy is made with a basic poppet in the middle, um, red and yellow flowers in the corners, belladonna flower on the left, mandrake root on the right, uh, a mushroom on the bottom and a red mushroom on the top. And that's a voodoo protection doll uh, poppet and that will protect you from players messing around with you. Now the poppet protection poppet is made with the voodoo protection poppet that you made just a second ago and it's four gold nuggets a drop of luck two ender dew and a toe of frog well unless you've um, mutated a frog you won't have that yet but that, I'll show you the design in a later episode and the poppet protection poppet poppet protection poppet it's a bit of a mouthful will protect you from other players placing the curse of the poppet on you of the curse of the corrupt poppet which means Say you've got your poppet of protection on, fire protection, and they can see you working around fire. They can put down the curse of the corrupt poppet, and then it would um, nullify your poppet, and so you would take the damage from the fire. Right. Oops. The next one, guys, is the tool protection poppet. Now this one is a um, basic poppet, two reek of misfortune, and two drop of luck. And that will, when held in your hotbar, Whenever your tools are about to break, your you know, say you've got a really nice diamond pick and it's just and you forgot that you were getting low on durability and you wanted to repair it after. Well, 
instead of the tool breaking, the poppet would break, giving you a chance to hopefully see that and save your um, your weapon. I believe it does actually repair it in the process too. But I'm not sure about that. Right. Next one, guys, is the death protection poppet, which I think is the best one, in my opinion. It's the basic poppet. Uh, gold nuggets, four gold nuggets, a diamond vapor, and a drop of luck. And that will protect you from any kind of death. So, when you die, whether it's a mob, falling, drowning, the poppet will be consumed, as long as it's on your hotbar, it will give you a, and it will give you a little bit of life back, just to get you out of trouble. So there you go guys, those are the the poppets from the B team. There was another one that I can't, that was on the website, but not on this game, and that's the armor protection poppet. And that one is the poppet in the middle, basic poppet, Reek of Misfortune on top, Diamond Vapor in the bottom, and Drop of Luck either side. And that will protect any armor that you're wearing. Give it a little bit of a repair, I believe, and then obviously the poppet will be destroyed in process. I believe that must be 0 0.5.1, but it's not on the B team. Which is that's cool, guys. That's all the poppets. But obviously, if you had all of those poppets, you'd have no room on your hotbar. And you'd be, like, carrying them around and it'd be a pain. So the next thing to do, guys, is make a poppet shelf. And the poppet shelf is a little bit expensive. It's four attuned stones, four nether bricks, and one green wool. And that will give you the poppet shelf, where you can place in the world anywhere. In your house... You can go anywhere you like. We're just going to put it right here for now. Cool. Right, the poppet shelf allows you to place a poppet on it. Well, any, all the poppets on it, actually. It'll hold this many poppets. Nine. Cool. And whilst these are here, you don't have to have the puppets in your hotbar. So as long as you have a puppet on, the sh on a puppet shelf, you don't have to have it in your hand anymore, or on your hotbar. It also works across dimensions, guys, which is handy if you're in the nether and you're about to die. You, you feel like you got you caught fire and you, you need a bit of protection. So there you go. So there you go, guys. That is the, the protection puppets and all of their uses and the puppet shelf. Next time, guys, we'll look at... Um, now that we have the poppets that protect us from death, we can look at infusions next, because um, a lot of the infusions will kill you unless you've got um, the death poppet. So, there you go. I think I'll do uh, a quick show you how to make diamond vapor, because I don't think we've done that one yet. And then we'll end the episode, guys. We'll be right back. We'll join me at my uh, potion brewing infusion lab part of the house. So, guys, the first thing part of making uh, diamond vapor is you're going to need oil of the vitriol. Oil of vitriol. <laughs> Whichever. Yeah. So that's made with a uh, quicklime and a foul fume. A foul fume and one jar. And that should start. And that will give you one slime ball, which is a good way of getting slime if you don't have any. Uh, one gypsum and one oil of vitriol. To make the diamond vapor, you're going to need one diamond one oil of vitriol and three clay jars. There you go. And that will give you one odor of purity and two diamond vapor. So there you go, guys. That should give you everything you need to make all the puppets except the... Oh, I can't remember which one it was now, but one of them. I think it was the... Poppet protection poppet you need the frog's toe for, which we'll look at in, in another episode. I'm, I'm going to be doing them um, from animals and familiars soon. So there, guys, that should get you started on on, on your poppet protection puppets now. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I will see you soon. Please comment, share, and like. Also, I don't know if, if you guys had seen my other video. Now, now that I have reached 100 subscribers, I will be setting up a subscriber server. Currently, it's going to be a, an attack of the B team server. There is a survey. I'll post a link in the comments section where you can vote. Um, tomorrow, which is Sunday, I'm going to be f stopping the survey, and that is what we're going to go with. And yeah, hopefully next week the server uh, the server will be up. 
It's looking like it's going to be Attack of the B Team, to be honest. It's going to be a, um, no PvP, and it's going to be in survival. And most people want to do community build stuff, so that's if you're into that, guys, please um, go on to my 100 subscribers server video, which is the one before this one, and um, click the link um, and go to the survey, or, or even click on the link in this video when I pop it up. So there you go, guys. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.